just by changing on the outside it doesn't change anything by doing something only on the outside nothing change not because everybody is wearing a tilak everybody have to wear a tilak not because everybody is wearing a certain kind of clothes everybody had to wear a certain kind of clothes it's not by copying like i was saying yesterday that we will be ourselves you see you have listened to many satsang you have seen through many teaching itself that the guru gave why you know there's a bit of a story which somebody have uh, uh, read about it uh, sometimes back a man was walking on the street as he walked he fell into a pit in a hole no huh? he fell into a hole and he fell into the hole and he was screaming a doctor was passing by the doctor heard him screaming down there he wrote a prescription and throw it down <laughs> then a priest was passing by a priest passed by hear him screaming he wrote a prayer put it down then somebody was passing by a friend of his an acquaintance of his he saw him he called for him he said help me and that guy jump into the hole himself then he said look at him he said are you such a fool you jump into that hole which i am trying to go out and that friend said to him well i jump into the hole because to explain to you will be of no use i jump into this hole so that i can bring you out i also fell into that hole once and i know the way out of it so it is the same thing with life itself you know everyone is in the same position you know it we are the human being is in that hole in that pit where there are rules by the mind by the intellect by the body many will come your parent have come in your life they have guided you your friend have come have guided you but who will jump inside on these those who have gone through that no so the guru come into your life said yes what is the aim of the master what is the aim of the guru himself jesus such a beautiful figure you know he came to liberate the soul he came to save the people krishna have come have given the gita to elevate the consciousness of man the guru come into this reality which you have put yourself he choose to come to remove you from that but do you want to be removed from that do you want to attain a certain happiness which is everlasting happiness everlasting happiness doesn't mean that once you die then you'll be eternally happy this is an idea which they have been fed you have fed your mind with everybody else before have fed your mind with but yes you will be safe after you die 
You will go to a fantasy heaven after you die. Who cares after you die? You're dead. <laughs> when you are alive, the one who resides in heaven, which resides inside of your body itself, you have not met him. Do you think when you die you will meet him? When consciously have given you a mind, a body and a soul to realize him, but you have not prioritized him, you have prioritized the world, you have prioritized everything else above him. Do you think you will meet him? If being alive you have not met him, in death you will meet him? If by being alive you have not met Sriman Narayana inside of your heart, inside of his creation itself, do you think after you die you will meet him? You will not. The beauty of this human incarnation itself, you know, is that you can realize God when you have life inside of you. After his death, you can't realize him. After his death, you can't find him. And when you have to take that opportunity to be happy, only when you're dead? No, only when you're alive, you have to be happy. Happy for this life itself, happy for each moment. You can't be happy for each moment, at least... Try to find that happiness. Tread the journey towards that eternal happiness itself. Make use of this living being which you are to attain to that state. And it's not only in one day to be happy. Happiness should be each moment of your life. Happiness have to run to you wherever you are. Happiness should be when somebody look at you and said, I want that happiness. I want what that person have. Even if they can't have it, even if they're challenged to it. You know, like I said yesterday, Knowledge is important. What you can give to the people, you can't give that happiness to somebody. You know, this is a foolishness that somebody said, I give you that happiness. No, you can't. You can become happy for yourself. When you are happy for yourself, automatically you will be happy. If you sing... But yes, I want to make everybody happy. Somebody wrote to me in, in online darshan yesterday. I was looking. I want to make everybody happy. <laughs> I said, first, before you think of making the whole world happy, make yourself happy first. If you change, the world will change. But if you yourself are miserable, what to make people happy? You see, water, where water is more important, whether when you are surrounded with water or in the desert. Do you know the value of water only when you are in the desert? If you are surrounding with water, that water doesn't have that value. The same if you're surrounding yourself with miserable people. Do you think you will understand if you yourself is miserable and all around you are miserable? Do you think you will understand what is happiness? Impossible. What we attract. Very often when we are miserable, we attract the same kind of people. When one is miserable, he will attract another miserable person. Two miserable persons come together, doesn't mean 
happiness will be the outcome of it. They will fill up the misery of each one and make that misery more stronger. That's what pushed people to kill themselves afterwards. Because they have not understood the importance of life itself. And of course, you see, once you are in, into that, like I said, the mind people you know, who is ruled by the mind desire, dictated by whatever the mind is dictating to them, you know, and they follow it, they will listen to it, they run behind it, they think about it. Do you think one will be free? One will attain to that joy, that one will attain to that happiness? Look at yourself. You know? When you are longing only for one day of happiness in a year, which state are you in? We on the spiritual path say no, it should not. Life is a celebration itself. Each moment of your life is a celebration. Because for us, it's not that once you die, then you will go and meet God. Bhagavan Krishna said, no, I am the one which dwells inside of you. Which means, every day we meet him. Every day we can encounter him. Every day we can see him. When we dive inside of our heart, feel that joy, feel that happiness, feel that love that He has put inside of us. It's not outside, it's inside. Then each moment of your life becomes a happy moment. Each, uh, each moment of your life becomes a celebration. But what we do? We go to a miserable person and ask that miserable person, can you? Share my misery. And the person said, I am already miserable. I will share my misery also with you. you know? And then they both share their misery. Do you think my uh, two negative persons come together? Positive, it's not mathematics. Minus and minus become plus. Uh, no. If you want to awake, you want to transform, you want to be joyful, truly, look inside of you. The outside is one thing, it's beautiful, at least you have made the first step of that. You have changed your clothes, you have put decoration on your face and you have made yourself, uh, it's nice because you don't know when Bhagwan will come in front of you, you know, and then you are ready for him. And this is also one thing, you know, once I was looking at an old lady uh, and the, the way she was looking at uh, Lord Krishna, deity, with such admiration, I was by the side looking at her. And you see, the beauty of how she was looking was not just that. She had decorated herself nicely. But you can see she was not looking only at the deity. You, know, you can see and feel that she was looking at Bhagwan himself, you know, and inside her soul was asking, my Lord, my beloved, when would you come? You know, she had beautified herself, not only on the outside, but her inner beauty was shining through her. And I was looking at her, said, wow, she had beautified herself on the outside also because of her longing for her beloved. The same in the Gopi Geet, you see, how the Gopi was decorating themselves. But it's not just to decorate yourself on the outside, you see. That longing must be there. If you just doesn't have any longing inside of you, don't have feel that love inside of you, and say, yes, I love God, I love Krishna. You know, the stone can say many things. Then you will come for a short time and then you will leave for a short uh, for afterwards. Because inside 
there is not that yearning inside of you. Your whole, your soul doesn't yearn for that true happiness, you know. Only the outside. Outside you can put a show. But that means it brings us to our aim of life. Doesn't mean that that true joy and true, true happiness will awake. So that is to be think about, you know. You want to be happy only for one day? No, you want to be happy every day. Which God have graced you, you know. That is a grace itself, you know. Life is a grace itself. Each moment that you spend in remembering Him, it's a grace itself. And you can't remember Him being miserable, you know. You can't remember Him being, say, but one will look at you and say, oh, this one is miserable, I will go to Him and love that person very much. Huh? No. There must be this sincerity inside of your heart, you know. If you are sincere, you will see that you don't need to do much. Everything will flow naturally and normally to you. But if there is no sincerity inside of your heart, you may try and try and try, nothing will happen. So. Be sincere you know, with yourself. Be sincere on your spiritual path. And of course, it's not just a press of button saying, yes, I will be sincere from now on, no. But you have a heart, no? What have brought that change inside of you? It is not outside. What have brought you on the spiritual is not the outside. It is what you hold inside of you. And for one is eternally waiting for you. 